Dear Rainfall Club members, thank you for joining us today. I'm with Martha Wilson. She's the international, international sales manager for AI DNA. Uh, Martha, welcome. Hi, hi, Tafel. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be on here. Like I said to you earlier, I've followed it for a few years now, so I'm really happy to be a part of it. Oh, it's fantastic to have a, a reader, somebody part of Virtual Scale Up, actually show us th things today. And as you know, we love super actionable things, new features. That's what you will be uh, describing to us today. So thank you so much for that. And um, maybe a quick word on Air DNA. What do you guys do for the people who don't know the company? Yeah, of course. So we've been around since 2014. We started, our co-founder was actually an Airbnb manager and found that there wasn't enough data in the market. He came from a data science background. So he then decided to start scraping properties. And what we do now is we scrape Airbnb and Verbo properties worldwide every day. And then we kind of aggregate that data into different products, whether that be for vacation rental managers or individual hosts and then other clients as well. Fantastic. Um, and that's a lot, we have a lot of data. What's interesting with our DNA, I'm an DNA customer, so just a disclaimer <laughs> as well, uh, is that the data is actionable, right? You can have data about the whole market. For example, in my case, the, the island of Bali, I know what's going on in, on the island. It's very interesting. But of yeah. course, sometimes like it's going to be overwhelming. And yeah. we're going to be talking about this today, and we have a demo of the tool as well, thanks to you. Yeah. We're going to be talking about your new features, you know, my properties and the comp set. So first, who are these features for? Yeah, of course. So we actually created this, like you just said. So you can get so much data. Um, but the problem with getting all of this data is sometimes there can be a lot of background noise. And we wanted to limit that. So this is for any hosts or property managers, regardless of the number of properties you have. And it's just going to really assist you in narrowing down to specifics. Whether you have, for example, a standard two bedroom property or in, in uh, normal cities, or you have a really niche property, it's going to be relevant to everyone. The whole point of the tool is it's really relevant to you. Great. And um, so what is it solving? You, you just talked about it, it's enabling to narrow down things, to you know, cut the back on the, cut on the background noise. So what are going to be like you know, two or three pains that this, this is solving? Yeah, definitely. So a lot of feedback we've had um, over the years from hosts and vacation rental managers is finding data that is relevant to them. So like I just mentioned, maybe you've got a property which is really luxury. It's got a swimming pool. Um, it's a really high level. You don't want to be comparing and seeing data for next door, which doesn't have these features. So what this will really do is help firstly cut out the background noise. So in your data sets, you're only seeing the properties that are relevant. And then with the comp set, we've gone a step further that you can then tailor your data sets. So you can price based on these competitors and you can see other metrics such as booking lead time and rate analysis. So everything you're doing is revolving around your competitors and relevant to you. All right, I think that's, that's the concept is interesting, but I think it's gonna even like shine even more through a demo. So I'm very curious yeah. to see how the comp set, so the comparative set of properties works, uh, you know, how you can customize it further down and, you know, how to take it. So just give you the hand and then go ahead and let's enjoy the demo. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to share my screen and here we go. You should be able to see it. Okay. So the, my properties is within our market minded tool. So anyone who's already subscribed, you get this feature included and just a bit of background the market minder is an interactive dashboard it has everything from places to invest research and then this new feature which is my properties so i'm just going to click on it here what we've done today is i have uploaded a property it's not actually a live property um so we're just doing this so you can actually see the main features but what you would do is pull in your property from airbnb and it would appear here you then click on customize your concept. So this is where what we've done here is we will have pulled up to 50 comparable properties, which we determine as comparable. So that would be based on location, bedroom and bathrooms. But we know that you obviously know your property better than anyone else. So we've given you the list here. So you can scroll through. You get some figures on each comparable. 
And you also then get here, let me just move this up here. You also then get here the aggregated data for your comp set. So this is based on what we've decided. And this is where the new feature comes in. What you can do here is actually filter these out. So let's say, for example, you've got your property manager, you've got luxury properties with swimming pools. What you would do here is firstly, you want to click through your amenities. So maybe you've got a swimming pool, you can add that in here. Any other amenities, maybe a hot tub. What you can do then here, say you are beachfront, you want to lower the max distance so that you're really only getting properties within your immediate area. And then maybe if you're professionally managed, you know that you're going to have, maybe so you want to say a minimum of 30 or 40 reviews. So you know that you're only comparing to other properties which are on the market. Maybe they've got higher ratings, if we say four plus, and they've got a lot of reviews. So they're these full-time property managed properties. What you would do then is you would click apply. I'm not going to click apply here just because it's not going to come up any, with any comparables based on this property, but you would click apply. And what that would do is this would be your new list of comparables. Okay. So this would be only the comparables with swimming pools and you can then save that. So if I, if I get it right, let me ask yeah. a question. So the picture at DNA, we have like market level data. Mm -hmm. And now we also have like, you know, Air DNA's suggestion for a list of compar um, comparable properties that mm -hmm. I can further down, just so that I can further down the refine and yeah. uh, something that I think makes more sense, for example, with a pool for my property. So as that's very interesting because you have, you have different levels where yeah. you suggest what to do. Because also, maybe it's also sometimes a way to find properties that you do not think are competitive, comparative to you or in your area or something new yeah. maybe. That's super interesting yeah. to be able to customize and see this. Yeah. Exactly. So we still give you that market analysis. So let me show you here in comp set rate. So now you're going to have those three options. So you still have market rates. So if you just want to look at the market as a whole, that's still really interesting to check general trends. Because say you've got a niche type of property, you still want to know what's going on in the market as a whole. You still have recommended rates. So that's based on the comparables that we chose for you. And now you have comp set rates. So that's based purely on those maybe, usually when people do it, you've got maybe 10 to 15, depending on your market, really specific properties. What you get then is, again, ignore this minus 401, it's because it's not a real property. And it comes up with a funny figure, but what you get here on a daily basis for the next six months is the median rate of that comp set. So how many of them have been booked? How many of them are still available? What price they're being booked at? And this figure here at the moment saying minus 401 will tell you based on your price for this day, whether you need to go up or down to be in line with your competitors. Okay, so that really gives you an idea on a daily basis, really specific pricing trends. And you can just flip through here and see the others. So now I just wanna show you what else we've tailored um, to here. So let me just move this. And um, so we haven't just tailored pricing, we've also tailored our pacing feature. So if you click here again, you're in your comparables. And once you've saved them the first time, they'll be saved, okay? So they'll always stick there. And you can go into pacing. So pacing, we actually created due to the recent pandemic. We wanted to give you guys even more future pricing, future data, daily updated. Obviously, everything was changing so much so quickly. So we, again, still give you market pacing. But what we also now do is for comp set. So... There's three really handy graphs in here. This first one is showing you the demand, okay? So it's giving you the yellow is the booked rate and the number of booked listings is the purple. So typically this kind of graph would relate to holidays, festivals, sporting events where there's high demand. Although there's not as much of that going on at the moment, 
there definitely is still peaks, okay? So there's definitely days you wanna look for, for example, here, for example, here, and this one here where the booked listings has gone up and also the booked rate. So that weekend, you wanna be checking your calendar and making sure you're in line. Then this rate analysis, okay, so this is a really interesting one because we often find that the rate hosts are pricing and the rate guests are actually booking never perfectly line up. So that can mean either you're leaving money on the table if you're a host who's kind of pricing too low for the rest of the market and guests would actually book higher or you're pricing yourself out of the market. So a really good example of this, if we look this weekend, so you can see here, guests are booking at nearly a hundred pounds a night. So 95 pounds for the, this weekend. What's actually left on the market available is only pricing at 40 pounds. So here you're really already leaving. I mean, you could double your price and you're leaving quite a lot of money on the table here. If you're following that available rate and you would look at this and you say, okay, maybe I can put my rates up for this. Again, if we look at these spikes here as well. Okay, and then the final thing I wanna show you is this booking trend. So this is really helpful if you're in a market which is still recovering from COVID. So say you're in kind of these city markets um, and the more urban markets which have taken a little longer to recover and are still kind of going through this. If you look here, this gives you booking lead time, okay? So a key thing here is the last seven days. So you wanna keep an eye on this to see, and again, this is based only on your comp set, so only the properties which are really relevant to you. When people start making any bookings in the last seven days for any future day. Because even if the uptick is small and not kind of overwhelmingly big, it does mean that there's demand coming back into your market and it puts you in a good position to know, okay, so there's demand coming back. We're maybe starting to recover um, and be ahead of that and make sure you price, maybe see, go back to the first graph, see the demand and price accordingly. So those are kind of the key things we've done with this My Properties. Um, and if you're a property manager, you can upload all your properties here and we will do that for you. We can do a bulk upload and help you customize. Or if you're just individual host, you can just upload your one and really drill into it. Okay, well, it was really, really, really interesting to see this. Thank you so much because uh, as you said, right, in the end as a property manager, I may know my market really well. So mixing the su suggestions from our DNA and my own knowledge of what's relevant from this property to make it, you know, uh, make it uh, even better comparison and be able to use that through data and, and yeah. looking at reports, what's going on or pricing suggestions are very important. So I'm saying it's free, a free feature if I'm already a subscriber to MarketMinder, but if I want to get started with our DNA, what should I be doing? So if you want to get started with us, you would just need to give us a call on our number or send us an email to hello at airdna.co. We're always happy to do kind of one-on-one -on -one demos. Um, like we've been saying with this whole My Properties, it's very specific to you. So we can do a demo of your market um, with you once you've subscribed. And if you want to subscribe, just send us an email um, and we can always jump on a call and see what plan kind of suits you best. Perfect. Martha, thank, thank you so much for your time. Uh, you are again the international sales manager for our DNA. And, um, as we said, there's going to be links under the video towards our DNA to find more. And I also write down the uh, email address you just gave us. Once again, thank you so much for your time and have a great day. No problem. Thanks so much. Have a great day.